All right, what is up guys? Hope you are all having an awesome Memorial Day weekend. Today, my goal is to get the Aristo completely buffed, polished, all that. It's looking pretty good. Um, got the hood done the other day, and I actually went ahead and did the fenders as well. So, it's looking pretty clean. Had a lot of blemishes right here that came out, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, I think I'm gonna start on the roof today. That's where it really needs the most attention. It's so hard to see on this car, especially in the light right now, but <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of blemishes I need to get out on the roof, as well as the trunk. It's so hard to see on camera. But yeah, I plan on spending a good five, six hours on this thing today. Hopefully we can knock it out. So I need to set up my buffer and everything real quick. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you guys these floor mats. Uh, right now, I'm actually having a sale. These are gonna be $65 shipped this weekend till Monday at midnight. That's the lowest price that they've ever been. So if you wanna pick up a set, definitely head over to the Instagram, link in the description below. They have a ton of different designs. Just shoot me a DM and I will get you hooked up. So real quick, I just took a couple pictures on my phone of the actual roof and some of the uh, spots there that you can't really see on the camera. So I'm gonna start up here today, see how it turns out, go from there. Now I did forget to mention in the last video also that I have clay barred this entire car twice in the last couple weeks. So that's definitely something you'd wanna do before you do this. But I got this all set up here, so I'm gonna get started now. And Alright, so I just did the first pass on the roof right here. Sorry if it's a bit windy right now, but I'm gonna put a before and after picture right now. And yeah, this definitely uh, cleared up a lot of the blemishes. So, super happy with that. It's kind of windy right now, but I'm gonna try to get the entire roof done before it gets too hot out today. And then I also need to do the bumper, and then I'm gonna start with the doors. All right guys, so I've been working on this for about an hour now. My face kind of feels burned, but check out the roof. This thing came out super nice. It's like glass now. So basically, I uh, went over it twice with the uh, buffer. That's the first pad I'm using. And then I went over it once with the polish and it turned out really good. Got rid of pretty much everything that was right there. And this thing is so smooth now. But I got that done. It's getting really hot out, so I'm trying to get the top of the car done first. I'm gonna move on to the trunk now. Get her done. All right, so before I buff anything, I usually like to tape off the entire area that I'm doing, just so it doesn't have like over, not really over spray, but just kind of go on to other areas. I definitely don't want it to get on the tail lights, buffing it and making it look weird. So I just tape everything off individually, each section. I should do the emblems, but it'll probably be pretty hard. So I don't think I'm going to worry about that too much. Other than that, that's pretty much good to go. We're going to let Leanne here try it. Yeah. Have you ever buffed a car? No. You ever done anything like this? No. Well, here, hold that for a second. Okay. I'm gonna get this set up for you. Better not ruin my car. I so I just got done with the roof polishing, but now we're gonna go back to the uh, cutting wheel or whatever it's called. Should be good. And also because it's super hot out today, 
this stuff dries up really quickly, so I've just been spraying a little bit of water on the pad. Should be good. All right, you take that. Right. Give me the tape. Okay. Now. Oh, it came on. <laughs> All right, it's okay. You can leave that for now. But you want to stamp this on here before that stuff dries up. So you want to take it and just stamp it in different areas. Go ahead. Kind of get that stuff all over the trunk. Oh, wow. Yep. Then I can plug this in for you. Yeah, and basically you just want to have it hang over your shoulder while you're doing it. Now, we got to start this at the lowest setting. And what you want to do, hold it. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure, you want to hold it right here for one. And you don't want it to go like this mm -hmm. or anything. You want it to be perfectly flat. And you don't really want to push down too hard like that. You just kind of want to, just a little bit of pressure and keep it even, go back and forth. So first what you want to do is turn it on. And you just want to kind of work all that stuff into it lightly. So go over the whole trunk like that real quick. Just want to get it laid out. Yep. Do it on the bottom here too. Make sure you keep that flat. Really got to spread it out good. Okay. All right, now we're gonna start in one spot. We're gonna turn it up. If you hold this for a second, I'll show you. So what you want to do and then you want to overlap the area that you're doing about halfway. Okay. Hope you want to keep it level. You gotta go this way and then you gotta go back across and then you gotta do it again. I'll pick this up in a minute. You wanna go down here too. All right, now you want to take a little bit of this and just mist it. Then you got to wipe all the material off. It's 
kind of on there stuck, so you got to really do it good. So I'm gonna do one more pass on this and then I'll pick it up from there, see how it's looking. Alright, so she's gonna go get some lunch real quick, but it's super hot out. Just got the roof all done, got it all sealed. I got the trunk done as well, and it's turning out pretty good. Super smooth. There was some scratches and stuff right here that I got rid of, so yeah, just gonna keep trucking along at this. I think I'm gonna do the bumpers next, save all this big stuff for last. Hopefully I can get this done today. So I just took a quick little breather here. Super hot out. I feel like my face is gonna fall off, but just got this entire side done and it's looking like glass. A couple little things I need to get off of the paint still, but she's smooth. So yeah, like I said, this side is completely done. I think now I'm actually gonna turn the car around. So the other side of the car is in the shade and that way you'll also be able to see this side a little better in the sunlight. 
All right, I just got it turned around real quick. Check it out. Looks so good. Can't believe I'm actually doing this with a Harbor Freight buffer, seriously. I do eventually want to get a really nice one, but so far this thing is definitely worth the money. Hell yeah. All right, so I got this other side to finish up here. I'm just gonna go ahead and knock it out. I'll pick it up when I'm done. Show you guys the final results. All right guys, I just pulled the car out into the sun a little bit. Just got it all done, polished, waxed. Check her out. By far the cleanest this car has ever been since I've owned it at least. Super good. Cannot wait for the new wheels. Hopefully those will be here within the next week or two. I was supposed to have them already, but they had some powder coating issues, so they had to redo them. Otherwise, they would be on the car already. Also, I got a lot of cool stuff coming for the Miata this week. Definitely stay tuned. But yeah, super happy with this. I think I spent like six and a half hours out here today though, so I think I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Have a good holiday weekend, and I'll see you guys next time.